top 10 most dangerous foods that people keep eating every day. Hello everybody. In a world where our daily meals can be ticking time bombs for our health, it's imperative to decode the warning signs and confront the alarming reality of the perilous foods we consume without a second thought. Brace yourself for a shocking revelation, the seemingly innocent items on your plate could be stealthily conspiring against your well-being. Imagine this scenario, with each bite, you unknowingly ingest a cocktail of harmful substances, setting off a chain reaction within your body. These culprits, disguised as ordinary foods, are the saboteurs behind your dwindling energy, foggy mind, restless nights, and disrupted metabolism. But fear not, because today, we embark on a mission to unmask the top 10 dietary villains that pose an imminent threat to your health. This isn't just a wake-up call, it's a call to action. We arm you with actionable tips to navigate your meals safely, ensuring you enjoy both flavor and well-being. Stick around until the end, and here's the kicker, we've got a special surprise waiting for you, something that will forever change the way you approach your meals. Now, let's uncover the truth together. 1. Processed Meats Processed meats, such as bacon, hot dogs, and deli meats, have become dietary staples for many, but recent revelations underscore their status as some of the most harmful foods. The World Health Organization, WHO, has taken a decisive stance, categorizing processed meats as a group 1 carcinogen, equating their cancer-causing potential to substances like tobacco and asbestos. At the heart of the issue lies the inclusion of nitrates in these processed products. While nitrites are commonly added for preservation and flavor enhancement, their conversion during processing can lead to the formation of nitrosamines, known carcinogens. This scientific connection between processed meats and an increased cancer risk underscores the need for caution in their consumption. Beyond the cancer concerns, processed meats have been linked to arterial stiffness, disrupting the natural elasticity of blood vessels. This disruption contributes to elevated blood pressure, heightening the risk of heart-related complications. Research from the University of Oxford highlights this risk, revealing an 18% increase in the likelihood of coronary heart disease for every 50 grams of daily processed meat consumption. Given these compelling findings, a prudent approach to dietary choices is crucial. To mitigate associated health risks, it is advisable to limit or, if possible, entirely avoid processed meats. For those who choose to include them in their diet, opting for organic and nitrate-free alternatives emerges as a potentially safer option. The revelations about processed meats prompt us to question our dietary habits, but the intrigue deepens as we shift our focus to fried foods, exploring the impact of oil-immersed delicacies on our well-being. 2. Fried Foods Fried foods, the second ominous contender in the list of top 10 most dangerous foods that people keep eating every day, reveal specific health hazards associated with its preparation method. Deep frying involves submerging foods in hot oil, resulting in the absorption of detrimental trans fats. A comprehensive analysis of trans fat consumption, supported by data from the American Heart Association, highlights its role in increasing LDL cholesterol levels, contributing to heart disease. Research indicates that each 2% increase in energy intake from trans fats is associated with a 23% increase in coronary heart disease risk. The cooking process itself introduces another peril as it leads to the formation of acrylamide, a potentially carcinogenic substance. Studies from the National Cancer Institute demonstrate that acrylamide is formed when certain foods, particularly those high in carbohydrates, are cooked at high temperatures. The correlation between acrylamide exposure and an elevated risk of several types of cancer, including ovarian and kidney cancers, raises alarming concerns. Furthermore, the high caloric content in fried foods is a key contributor to the global obesity epidemic. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, worldwide obesity has nearly tripled since 1975, and in 2016, more than 1.9 billion adults were overweight, with 650 million classified as obese. Obesity is a major risk factor for numerous health conditions, such as type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, and certain cancers. 
the narrative of the risks posed by fried foods unveils a larger concern when we pair the allure of deep-fried delights with the commonplace habit of consuming sugary drinks. This tandem raises a poignant question, are we unwittingly cultivating a daily routine that significantly heightens the health risks we expose ourselves to? Let's continue. 3. Sugary Drinks The correlation between an excessive intake of sugar-laden beverages, particularly sodas, and the burgeoning rates of obesity is not merely speculative, it's a stark reality. The latest data from the World Health Organization, WHO, serves as a global alarm, revealing that a staggering 13% of the world's adult population grapples with obesity. This epidemic is intimately entwined with the pervasive consumption of sugary beverages, acting as a catalyst for weight gain and laying the groundwork for the onset of metabolic disorders, notably type 2 diabetes. Delving deeper into the health repercussions, it becomes apparent that the impact extends beyond expanding waistlines. A recent study featured in the Journal of the American Dental Association unfolds a compelling narrative, providing irrefutable evidence linking the regular intake of sugary drinks to an increased susceptibility to cavities and gum diseases. The acidic composition of these beverages not only heightens the risk of dental maladies but also poses a dual threat by accelerating enamel erosion, compromising the very foundation of our oral health. We've talked extensively about sugary drinks, and I believe there's no longer any doubt about their harmful effects on health. However, there's another habit occurring daily that you might even be praising for its supposed special benefits. Well, be cautious about the upcoming content that I'm about to reveal to you. 4. Breakfast Cereals Breakfast cereals, often hailed as a convenient and nutritious start to the day, harbor unique health hazards that merit close examination. Scientific research and specific data reveal that beneath the guise of wholesome goodness, certain breakfast cereals may pose risks to our well-being. A critical aspect of concern is the high sugar content prevalent in many commercially available cereals. Recent studies, including research published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, underscore the association between excessive sugar intake and an increased risk of obesity, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular issues. The misleading health claims on cereal packaging may contribute to a false sense of nutritional security, leading consumers to overlook the potential pitfalls. Additionally, the refining process of grains in breakfast cereals often results in the loss of essential nutrients, leaving behind a product with limited nutritional value. Research from the Journal of Nutrition and Metabolism emphasizes that a diet rich in refined grains may contribute to inflammation and increase the risk of chronic diseases. There is another food similar to breakfast cereals that is also subtly infiltrating your daily habits, do you know what it is? 5. Refined Grains Refined grains, often integral to modern diets, reveal unique health hazards that warrant meticulous consideration. Scientific scrutiny and specific data accentuate the potential drawbacks hidden within these commonly consumed grains. One significant concern revolves around the refining process which strips grains of their bran and germ, leaving behind a product lacking essential nutrients. Studies underscore that diets high in refined grains may contribute to inflammation, insulin resistance, and an increased risk of chronic diseases like heart disease and diabetes. Moreover, refined grains often possess a high glycemic index, leading to rapid spikes in blood sugar levels. Research from the Archives of Internal Medicine connects diets rich in high glycemic foods, including refined grains, to an elevated risk of developing type 2 diabetes. 6. Trans fats Our exploration delves into the scientific realm, unveiling the alarming connections between these artificial fats and heightened cardiovascular risks. Trans fats, once ubiquitous in processed and fried foods, emerge as a significant dietary peril, substantiated by a plethora of scientific evidence. Extensive studies, exemplified by a comprehensive analysis in the New England Journal of Medicine, unequivocally establish the ominous connection between trans fat consumption and a heightened risk of coronary heart disease. Data reveal that for each 2% increase in energy intake from trans fats, the risk of coronary heart disease rises significantly. 
the detrimental impact of trans fats isn't confined to cardiovascular health alone. Research from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition underscores their role in promoting systemic inflammation, a precursor to chronic diseases such as diabetes and inflammatory disorders. The pervasive presence of trans fats in certain food products poses a silent health threat, despite increasing awareness. In response to these findings, the World Health Organization, WHO, advocates for the global elimination of industrially produced trans fats, emphasizing their role in preventing premature deaths and promoting overall health. Notably, Denmark's successful trans fat ban has demonstrated tangible health benefits, with a significant reduction in cardiovascular disease-related deaths. Continuing with the hazards from the ocean, have you ever wondered what lies behind the allure of raw shellfish? Let's explore together. 7. Raw Shellfish Raw shellfish, often celebrated for its culinary appeal, conceals specific health hazards that demand careful consideration. Scientific studies, including a comprehensive analysis featured in the Journal of Food Protection, shed light on the unique risks associated with the consumption of uncooked shellfish. One primary concern revolves around the potential presence of harmful pathogens, including bacteria and viruses, in raw shellfish. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, reports a significant number of foodborne illnesses linked to the consumption of raw or undercooked shellfish. Pathogens such as Vibrio vulnificus and norovirus pose severe health threats, leading to gastrointestinal issues and, in extreme cases, life-threatening complications. Furthermore, raw shellfish can accumulate environmental contaminants, including heavy metals and toxins, which may have detrimental effects on human health. Research from the Environmental Science and Technology Journal highlights the bioaccumulation of contaminants in shellfish, underscoring the potential risks associated with their consumption. Continuing with the vastness of the ocean, where shell-bearing creatures take us to another hidden realm deep beneath the sea. Are the fish on your plate truly safe? Let's proceed. 8. High Mercury Fish High mercury fish, renowned for its nutritional richness, becomes a double-edged sword due to its susceptibility to mercury contamination. In-depth scientific studies, as highlighted in research published in Environmental Health Perspectives, illuminate the intricate dangers associated with elevated mercury levels in certain fish species, introducing nuanced considerations for health-conscious consumers. Mercury, a potent neurotoxin, permeates the oceans and accumulates in fish, particularly predatory species. The potential repercussions are significant, especially for vulnerable populations like pregnant women and young children. Scientific data from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, underscores the necessity of caution, as high mercury exposure can impair the developing nervous systems. Predatory fish, including shark, swordfish, and king mackerel, occupy the upper echelons of the marine food chain, accumulating higher mercury concentrations. This raises concerns about the safety of regularly consuming such species. Striking a balance between the nutritional benefits of fish and minimizing mercury exposure becomes crucial, prompting a reassessment of dietary choices. 9. Raw or undercooked eggs Raw or undercooked eggs pose a distinct health hazard, requiring careful consideration due to the potential presence of harmful bacteria, primarily salmonella. Scientific studies, such as a comprehensive analysis published in the Journal of Food Protection, underscore the link between consuming raw or undercooked eggs and an increased risk of salmonella infection. Salmonella's horror story unfolds in the form of debilitating symptoms, ranging from nausea, vomiting, and abdominal cramps to more severe complications, including bloodstream infections. Vulnerable populations, such as the elderly, infants, and individuals with weakened immune systems, are particularly susceptible to the devastating effects of a salmonella infection. In extreme cases, the consequences can be fatal. The prevalence of salmonella contamination in eggs is a concerning reality. The bacteria can be present both on the shell surface and within the egg, infiltrating the porous structure despite the egg appearing intact. Despite common misconceptions, Simply washing eggs doesn't eliminate the risk, 
as salmonella can persist within the eggshell's pores. Even seemingly fresh and high-quality eggs are not immune to this risk. The intricate structure of an egg, with its porous shell, provides an ideal environment for bacterial entry. The story of salmonella bacteria proves that proper food handling is extremely crucial. However, there are certain foods that, even when cooked or boiled thoroughly, may still pose risks. What are they? 10. Unnaturally Grown Animal Products Attention to all consumers of animal products. Opting for grass-fed instead of grain-fed meat might just be the health-conscious choice you need. While meat is undoubtedly a valuable source of protein, vitamin B12, enzymes, and antioxidants, the quality of the meat matters significantly. Factory-farmed meat, particularly from animals that predominantly consume corn and soy, can lead to a detrimental imbalance of omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids. Studies, including research published in the Journal of Biomedicine and Pharmacotherapy, link this imbalance to inflammation, contributing to a spectrum of health issues such as cancer, cardiovascular diseases, rheumatoid arthritis, and autoimmune diseases. The recommended balance of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids is 1 to 1, as per human evolution. However, the contemporary Western diet averages around 15 to 1 due to the prevalence of processed foods and factory farming practices. Grass-fed meat, eggs, chicken, and fish emerge as healthier alternatives. Grass-fed meat boasts higher levels of omega-3 fatty acids and conjugated linoleic acid, CLA, essential for preventing chronic diseases and maintaining healthy cartilage. Opting for organic, Pasture-raised eggs and chicken ensures a natural diet, higher vitamin D levels, and increased omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin E content. Additionally, wild-caught fish, such as salmon, outshines farm-raised counterparts in nutritional value, with lower toxin levels, reducing the risk of cancer, liver damage, and developmental problems. The question that looms large, are we ready to invest in naturally grown food to safeguard our health, potentially avoiding long-term medical costs and enhancing our overall quality of life? Of course, I'm not suggesting that all of us should spend a large amount of money every day to buy clean, clearly certified sourced foods. What I mean is, why don't we create and combine fantastic foods based on smart choices beyond the market and make it right in our own small kitchen? Do you agree with me? Leave a comment below this video. I've spent a lot of time gathering information and conducting comprehensive research to make videos for you, so if you find the video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And now, thank you for watching until the end of this video. Stay tuned for my next video. As always, wishing you good health. Top 5 Worst Foods That Kill Your Heart In the quiet corridors of our bodies, an insidious threat lurks, often unnoticed until it strikes with lethal precision, heart disease. Identifying the warning signs is paramount to preserving the sanctity of our most vital organ. Subtle cues such as persistent chest pain, shortness of breath, and unexplained fatigue may serve as harbingers of impending cardiac distress. These signals, often dismissed or overlooked, demand our attention, urging us to delve deeper into the intricate workings of our cardiovascular system. The stakes are unbearably high in the battle against heart disease, a relentless adversary claiming countless lives globally. Alarming statistics reveal that an estimated 20.5 million people succumb to cardiovascular disease annually, encompassing heart attacks and strokes. This silent epidemic, reigning as the foremost cause of mortality, casts a foreboding shadow on the human experience. As we confront the grim reality of heart disease, it becomes imperative to scrutinize our dietary choices. In a world where the kitchen harbors both sustenance and potential harm, we present a cautionary list, the top five worst foods that destroy your heart. Rooted in the understanding that heart disease stems from inflammation, oxidative stress, and insulin resistance, this compilation serves as a beacon, illuminating the perilous path that certain foods pave toward cardiovascular catastrophe. Join us in this journey of enlightenment, and stay tuned until the end of the video, as we uncover the hidden threats that may lie within your pantry, 
poised to compromise the very core of your well-being. Start with number 5. 5. Carbohydrates. Excessive consumption of carbohydrates, particularly refined carbohydrates, has been associated with adverse effects on heart health and research from reputable institutions provides detailed insights into the potential risks. According to a comprehensive study by the American Heart Association, individuals with a high intake of added sugars, commonly found in sugary snacks and beverages, faced a 23% higher risk of developing coronary heart disease. Moreover, a study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology revealed that those with a diet rich in refined carbohydrates had a 30% increased likelihood of coronary heart disease compared to individuals with lower carbohydrate intake. The link between high-carbohydrate diets and heart-related issues is further emphasized by the National Institutes of Health, which reported that excessive carbohydrate consumption contributes to obesity, a condition associated with a 64% increased risk of coronary heart disease. Refined carbohydrates can also lead to elevated blood sugar levels, insulin resistance, and inflammation, as highlighted in research. The Nurses' Health Study, spanning several decades, demonstrated that diets with a high glycemic index, indicative of rapid blood sugar spikes, were correlated with a 27% higher risk of coronary heart disease in women. For older adults aiming to safeguard heart health, being mindful of carbohydrate choices is crucial. Opting for whole, unprocessed carbohydrates, such as whole grains, fruits, and vegetables, over refined options is associated with a lower risk of heart-related issues. To mitigate the negative impact of carbohydrates on health, consider these specific tips. Opt for whole grains over refined carbs to maintain stable blood sugar levels and improve heart health. Embrace a diverse range of colorful vegetables to ensure a mix of essential nutrients and fiber, supporting digestion and overall well-being. Monitor portion sizes to prevent excessive calorie intake, and choose complex carbohydrates with a low glycemic index to sustain energy levels. Additionally, prioritize carbohydrates from natural sources like fruits, legumes, and nuts, steering clear of processed and sugary options. Sugar, the fourth element, stands out as one of the most concerning factors currently, and it is also highly familiar, sugar. I assure you that it appears 100% in your daily meals, so pay attention. 4. Artificial Sweeteners and Sugar The impact of artificial sweeteners and added sugars on heart health is a critical concern that deserves attention, particularly for adults seeking to maintain cardiovascular well-being. Numerous studies, including research conducted by the American Heart Association and the World Health Organization, have highlighted the detrimental effects of excessive sugar consumption. Artificial sweeteners, often thought to be a healthier alternative, may paradoxically contribute to heart-related issues. Some studies suggest that these sweeteners can lead to metabolic dysfunction, insulin resistance, and weight gain, all of which are risk factors for heart disease. For instance, a study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology reported a 30% higher risk of cardiovascular events in individuals consuming artificial sweeteners regularly, compared to non-consumers. On the other hand, the harmful impact of added sugars on heart health is well established. High sugar intake is associated with elevated blood pressure, inflammation, and unfavorable lipid profiles. The Nurses Health Study, spanning decades, has consistently demonstrated that a diet rich in added sugars significantly increases the likelihood of developing heart disease. According to this study, Women who consumed more than 25% of their daily calories from added sugars had twice the risk of fatal heart disease compared to those who consumed less than 10%. Excessive sugar consumption is also linked to obesity, a major contributor to cardiovascular issues. The Interheart study, involving diverse populations worldwide, identified obesity as a key modifiable risk factor for heart disease. Specifically, the study found that individuals with a body mass index, BMI, above 30 had a 44% higher risk of heart disease compared to those with a BMI below 25. What's your BMI? Share it with us in the comments below this video.
stay vigilant and let's continue exploring the third dangerous food together. 3. Trans fats and vegetable oils. Avoiding certain oils is crucial for heart health. Vegetable oils like soybean, corn, canola, safflower, and cottonseed oil pose significant risks. Firstly, all these oils undergo refining, containing trans fats due to high heat and pressure in the process. Trans fats are known to damage cell membranes, causing cancer, obesity, Alzheimer's, and heart disease. Secondly, polyunsaturated fatty acids in these oils turn into oxidized fats during processing, leading to mutated cells, inflammation, and arterial dysfunction. Repeatedly reheating these oils, especially during deep frying, intensifies the damage and produces harmful compounds linked to heart disease, stroke, and cancer. Thirdly, vegetable oils are high in inflammatory omega-6 fats, disrupting the healthy omega-6 to omega-3 ratio. Replacing them with healthier alternatives like coconut oil, olive oil, macadamia oil, avocado oil, and grass-fed butter is essential. Processed foods often contain these harmful oils, found in baked goods, frozen foods, coffee creamers, margarine, and snacks. Contrary to past beliefs, saturated fats from natural sources like grass-fed butter, cream, dark chocolate, and coconut products may not be harmful. Studies suggest they can even contribute to a longer, healthier life by preventing artery clogging and potentially reversing heart disease. Choosing these fats wisely and avoiding harmful oils is pivotal for cardiovascular well-being in older adults. To mitigate the adverse effects of processed foods on health, consider adopting these strategies. Prioritize whole, unprocessed foods rich in nutrients, and limit the intake of packaged snacks and sugary beverages. Read food labels attentively, avoiding products with high levels of added sugars, unhealthy fats, and excessive sodium. Opt for home-cooked meals, allowing you to control ingredients and portions. Embrace a balanced diet comprising fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. Stay mindful of portion sizes to prevent overconsumption. Lastly, stay hydrated with water instead of sugary drinks. These simple adjustments can contribute to a healthier lifestyle amidst the prevalence of processed foods. Next, processed foods have become an integral part of modern diets, shaping the way we eat and live. So, how do they wreak havoc on your heart? Let's find out. 2. Processed Foods Numerous foods we commonly consume fall under the category of ultra-processed foods, UPF, posing significant risks to heart health, especially for older individuals. These include frozen meals, soft drinks, processed meats like hot dogs and bacon, processed cheeses, sugary or artificially sweetened yogurt, packaged cookies, cakes, and salty snacks. Ultra-processed foods, characterized by industrial formulations with five or more ingredients, have become prevalent in modern diets. Scientific evidence, such as a study published in the British Medical Journal, reveals that UPF contributes to 58% of calories in the U.S. diet and nearly 90% of energy from added sugars. These foods, laden with excessive sugar, sodium, unhealthy fats, additives, and lacking essential nutrients, not only fail to provide vital vitamins and minerals but also prove addictive and detrimental to heart health. The disruptive impact of UPF on the gut microbiome, causing gut lining leakage of toxins and bacteria into the bloodstream, triggers inflammation, fostering plaque buildup and arterial hardening. Encouragingly, adopting a diet free from ultra-processed foods initiates the body's natural healing processes. Eliminating these harmful food choices is a crucial step toward promoting cardiovascular well-being and mitigating the risks of arterial issues associated with UPF consumption. To mitigate the adverse effects of processed foods on health, consider these practical tips. Opt for whole, unprocessed alternatives, prioritizing fresh fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins. Read food labels diligently, avoiding products high in added sugars, unhealthy fats, and sodium. Prepare homemade meals whenever possible, giving you control over ingredients. 
embrace cooking methods like grilling, steaming, or baking instead of frying. Gradually reduce your reliance on pre-packaged snacks and opt for wholesome alternatives like nuts or seeds. Stay hydrated with water, minimizing sugary beverage consumption. These small adjustments empower you to make healthier choices amidst the prevalence of processed foods. Continuing with the top danger on the list, alcohol, a ubiquitous beverage in social and cultural contexts, is a psychoactive substance with diverse effects on the human body. How can it wreak havoc on your heart? Well, welcome to our final exploration. 1. Alcohol Drinking alcohol presents quantifiable risks to heart health, supported by scientific data that underscores the importance of moderation, especially for seniors. To start, alcohol intake can increase insulin resistance, as evidenced by studies indicating a direct impact on liver function. This interference with glucose storage and release plays a pivotal role in metabolic health and diabetes. The hypothalamus, responsible for aiding insulin action, is also adversely affected by alcohol, potentially exacerbating insulin resistance and metabolic imbalances. Excessive alcohol consumption is associated with weight gain and elevated blood pressure, contributing significantly to the development of heart disease. Scientific studies have demonstrated the correlation between alcohol-induced hypertension and cardiovascular risks. Long-term heavy drinking can lead to alcoholic cardiomyopathy, a condition characterized by weakened heart muscles, compromising the heart's ability to pump blood effectively. Studies reveal a direct link between chronic alcohol abuse and the prevalence of alcoholic cardiomyopathy. Binge drinking, a harmful pattern of excessive alcohol consumption, has been proven to induce irregular heart rhythms, such as atrial fibrillation. Statistical data highlights the increased likelihood of blood clots, strokes, and heart failure among individuals engaged in binge drinking. Certain alcoholic beverages, particularly those with high sugar content like cocktails and craft beers, show a clear association with heightened heart risks. On the other hand, scientific evidence supports the potential cardiovascular benefits of moderate consumption of specific alcoholic options, such as red wine, light beer, or spirits with zero-calorie mixers. The crucial message remains moderation, with guidelines recommending one drink per day for women and one to two drinks per day for men. These scientifically backed insights emphasize the need for informed and responsible alcohol consumption to safeguard heart health. To mitigate the adverse effects of alcohol on health, consider these practical tips. First, practice moderation by adhering to recommended limits for alcohol consumption. Hydrate adequately, alternating between alcoholic beverages and water to stay well hydrated. Opt for lower alcohol content drinks and savor them slowly to control intake. Ensure a well-balanced meal before drinking to slow alcohol absorption. Never skip meals, as an empty stomach intensifies alcohol's impact. Prioritize regular exercise to support overall health and counteract some negative effects. Lastly, be mindful of individual tolerance levels and seek professional guidance if needed. These strategies can contribute to a healthier relationship with alcohol. If you find the information valuable, don't forget to like and subscribe. Your support means a lot to us and helps us continue delivering quality content. In conclusion, neglecting the cautionary list of the top 5 worst foods that kill your heart can have dire consequences for your cardiovascular health. The choices we make in our daily diet play a pivotal role in determining the well-being of our hearts. Don't underestimate the impact of simple dietary adjustments in fortifying your heart against potential risks. Do not eat. 7 Types of Meat That Negatively Impact Health Hello, and welcome back to Vitality Solutions, the channel dedicated to your health and well-being. Today, we've got a crucial topic that demands your attention. Are you unknowingly putting your health at risk every time you sit down for a meal? It's time to find out. We all love a good meal, but what if I told you that some of the foods you're consuming could be hazardous to your health? In this eye-opening video, we're shining a spotlight on the dangerous world of meats. Yes, you heard it right, meat. From the seemingly harmless to the downright risky, 
we'll uncover the seven types of unhealthy meats you should steer clear of. It's time to make informed choices about what goes on your plate to ensure you're nourishing your body, not harming it. So, buckle up, because this is Vitality Solutions, and we're about to dive deep into the meaty matters that could be impacting your health more than you think. Let's get started. 1. Canned Meats The consumption of canned meats raises significant concerns regarding its potential impact on both our overall health and daily dietary habits. Scientific evidence consistently underscores several health hazards associated with the regular intake of canned meats. Firstly, the canning process often involves the addition of preservatives and high levels of sodium to enhance shelf life. The excessive intake of sodium is linked to increased blood pressure, posing risks for cardiovascular diseases and other related health issues. Furthermore, the canning process may lead to the leaching of bisphenol A, BPA, from the lining of cans into the meat. BPA is an endocrine-disrupting chemical that has been associated with various health problems, including hormonal imbalances, reproductive issues, and an increased risk of certain cancers. Studies have shown that the levels of BPA in canned goods can contribute to significant exposure when consumed regularly. Additionally, the high temperatures during the canning process can result in the loss of certain heat-sensitive nutrients in the meat, diminishing its overall nutritional value. A diet reliant on canned meats may therefore lack essential vitamins and minerals, potentially leading to nutritional deficiencies over time. In the context of daily dietary habits, canned meats are often chosen for their convenience and longer shelf life. However, understanding the potential health risks associated with the consumption of these products is crucial. Opting for fresh, lean protein sources, or alternatives like frozen or vacuum-sealed meats, can provide a more nutritious option while minimizing exposure to preservatives and potential contaminants. In conclusion, a thoughtful consideration of the health hazards linked to canned meats is essential for making informed dietary choices. Scientific evidence emphasizes the need to moderate the consumption of canned meats to reduce the risk of cardiovascular issues, exposure to harmful chemicals, and potential nutritional deficiencies. Choosing alternative sources of protein can contribute to a healthier and more balanced approach to daily nutrition. 2. Chicken Nuggets The ubiquitous appeal of chicken nuggets in our daily diets necessitates a careful examination of their potential health implications. Firstly, chicken nuggets are often processed and contain additives, including preservatives and flavor enhancers, contributing to increased sodium and unhealthy fat levels. Excessive intake of these components has been linked to elevated risks of cardiovascular diseases and related health issues. Moreover, the processing methods involved in manufacturing chicken nuggets may expose them to high temperatures and create potentially harmful substances. For instance, the formation of acrylamide during frying at high temperatures is a cause for concern. Acrylamide has been associated with an increased risk of cancer, particularly in organs such as the kidneys and reproductive organs. Additionally, the sourcing of chicken for nuggets is critical. Conventionally raised chickens may be exposed to antibiotics and hormones, and the residues of these substances can find their way into the meat. Chronic exposure to antibiotics raises concerns about antibiotic resistance, while hormonal residues may disrupt the endocrine system in humans, potentially leading to various health issues. In the context of daily dietary habits, the popularity of chicken nuggets stems from their convenience and widespread availability. However, understanding the potential health risks is crucial. Opting for homemade or minimally processed alternatives, checking the sourcing of the chicken used, and incorporating a diverse range of nutrient-rich foods can contribute to a healthier and more balanced diet. In conclusion, a mindful awareness of the health hazards linked to chicken nuggets is imperative for making informed dietary choices. Prioritizing whole, unprocessed foods can foster a more health-conscious approach to daily nutrition. 3. Bacon and Salami Consuming processed meats such as salami, bacon, and bologna can have detrimental effects on both our overall health and daily dietary habits, prompting a closer examination of their potential impact. 
scientific evidence consistently highlights the association between the consumption of these processed meats and an increased risk of various health issues. Firstly, these products often contain high levels of sodium and saturated fats, contributing to conditions such as hypertension and cardiovascular diseases. Moreover, the process of preserving these meats often involves the addition of nitrates and nitrites. When ingested, these compounds can form nitrosamines, known carcinogens that have been linked to an elevated risk of certain cancers, particularly colorectal cancer. The World Health Organization has classified processed meats as Group 1 carcinogens, emphasizing the significant health risks associated with their consumption. Furthermore, the high-temperature cooking methods used in preparing these processed meats, such as frying or grilling, can lead to the formation of heterocyclic amines and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. These compounds have been implicated in cancer development and may contribute to the overall carcinogenicity of processed meats. In the context of daily dietary habits, processed meats are often favored for their convenience and flavor. However, the potential health risks associated with their consumption warrant careful consideration. Integrating a variety of lean protein sources, such as poultry, fish, and plant-based alternatives, into one's diet can mitigate these risks while still meeting nutritional needs. In conclusion, an awareness of the health hazards linked to processed meats like salami, bacon, and bologna is crucial for making informed dietary choices. Scientific evidence supports the need to limit the intake of these products to reduce the risk of chronic diseases and improve overall well-being. Opting for healthier protein alternatives can contribute to a more balanced and health-conscious approach to daily nutrition. 4. Hot dogs and hamburgers The consumption of popular fast food items like hot dogs and hamburgers warrants careful consideration due to the potential health hazards associated with these convenient but often nutritionally questionable choices. Scientific evidence consistently highlights several concerns linked to the regular intake of hot dogs and hamburgers. Firstly, these processed meats often contain high levels of sodium, saturated fats, and additives. The excessive intake of these components has been associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular diseases, hypertension, and other related health issues. Furthermore, the processing methods involved in the production of hot dogs and hamburgers, such as curing and smoking, can lead to the formation of harmful substances like nitrites and nitrosamines. These compounds have been linked to an elevated risk of certain cancers, particularly colorectal cancer. Scientific studies emphasize the importance of minimizing the consumption of processed meats to reduce the associated carcinogenic risks. Additionally, the high cooking temperatures, especially when grilling, can result in the formation of heterocyclic amines, HCAs, and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs. These compounds are known to have carcinogenic properties, contributing to the overall health risks associated with the regular consumption of grilled hot dogs and hamburgers. In the context of daily dietary habits, these fast food favorites are often popular due to their convenience and taste. However, understanding the potential health risks is crucial. Choosing leaner meat options, incorporating more plant-based alternatives, and adopting healthier cooking methods can contribute to a more balanced and health-conscious approach to daily nutrition. In conclusion, a thoughtful awareness of the health hazards linked to hot dogs and hamburgers is essential for making informed dietary choices. Scientific evidence underscores the need to moderate the consumption of these processed meats to mitigate the risk of cardiovascular issues, carcinogenic exposure, and other health complications. Opting for healthier alternatives can contribute to a more wholesome and nourishing daily diet. 5. Eel Meat Eel meat can pose potential health risks and impact our daily dietary habits, warranting a careful consideration of its consumption. Scientific studies have revealed concerning aspects associated with eel meat that can adversely affect our well-being. Firstly, eel meat has been found to contain high levels of mercury, a toxic heavy metal. Mercury, when accumulated in the body through the consumption of contaminated seafood like eel, can lead to severe health issues, particularly affecting the nervous system. Moreover, the consumption of eel meat has been linked to the transmission of parasites. 
Improperly prepared or undercooked eel may harbor parasites that can cause gastrointestinal problems and other health complications in humans. Ensuring proper cooking methods and sourcing eel from reputable suppliers are essential to minimize this risk. Additionally, the farming practices associated with eel production can contribute to environmental concerns. Some eel farms may use antibiotics and other chemicals, leading to potential residues in the meat that consumers ingest. This raises concerns about the development of antibiotic resistance and the introduction of harmful substances into our bodies through regular eel consumption. In terms of daily dietary habits, while eel is a good source of protein and essential nutrients, its potential health risks should be weighed against its nutritional benefits. Individuals should be aware of the origin of the eel meat they consume and prioritize choosing products that adhere to strict quality and safety standards. In conclusion, the consumption of eel meat demands a cautious approach due to the associated health and environmental risks. Scientific evidence underscores the importance of being mindful of the potential hazards linked to mercury contamination and parasitic infections. Making informed decisions about the sources and preparation of eel meat is crucial to safeguard our health and maintain a balanced and safe daily diet. 6. Conventionally Raised Chicken The consumption of conventionally raised chicken raises significant concerns regarding its potential impact on both our overall health and daily dietary habits. Scientific evidence highlights several issues associated with conventionally raised chicken that merit careful consideration. Firstly, these chickens are often raised using antibiotics to promote growth and prevent diseases in crowded conditions. The overuse of antibiotics in poultry farming has been linked to the development of antibiotic-resistant bacteria, posing a serious threat to public health. In addition to antibiotic concerns, conventionally raised chickens may also be exposed to hormones to accelerate their growth. The residues of these hormones in chicken meat can disrupt the endocrine system when consumed, potentially leading to hormonal imbalances in humans. Such imbalances have been associated with various health issues, including reproductive problems and an increased risk of certain cancers. Furthermore, the feed given to conventionally raised chickens may contain pesticides and other chemical additives. These substances can find their way into the meat we consume, contributing to the overall chemical load in our bodies. Prolonged exposure to these chemicals has been associated with adverse health effects, ranging from neurological disorders to an elevated risk of certain chronic diseases. In the context of daily dietary habits, chicken is a staple protein source for many individuals. However, the potential health risks associated with conventionally raised chicken underscore the importance of making informed choices. Opting for chicken raised without antibiotics or hormones and sourced from reputable and sustainable sources can mitigate some of these concerns and contribute to a healthier diet. In conclusion, the conventional raising practices of chickens have implications for both individual health and broader public health. Being aware of the potential hazards associated with antibiotics, hormones, and chemical additives in conventionally raised chicken allows consumers to make more informed decisions about their dietary choices, promoting overall well-being and long-term health. 7. Poorly Raised Beef Poorly raised beef poses significant threats to both our overall health and daily dietary habits. Consuming beef from poorly raised cattle can have detrimental effects on our well-being. Scientific evidence has consistently shown that improperly raised beef tends to contain higher levels of harmful substances such as antibiotics, hormones, and pesticides. These contaminants, when ingested regularly through our daily meals, can accumulate in the body over time, contributing to a range of health issues. Firstly, the overuse of antibiotics in poorly raised beef can lead to antibiotic resistance in humans. When we consume meat that contains residual antibiotics, our bodies may become less responsive to these drugs over time, making it more challenging to treat bacterial infections effectively. This poses a serious threat to public health as antibiotic-resistant infections become more prevalent. Secondly, the presence of hormones in inadequately raised beef can disrupt our endocrine system. Hormones used in cattle farming, such as growth hormones, 
may interfere with our hormonal balance when we consume meat products. This disruption can potentially lead to hormonal imbalances in humans, contributing to issues like early puberty, reproductive problems, and even an increased risk of certain cancers. Furthermore, the pesticides used in the feed and living environments of poorly raised cattle can find their way into the meat we consume. Prolonged exposure to these pesticides has been linked to various health concerns, including neurological disorders, developmental issues, and an elevated risk of certain cancers. In addition to the direct health implications, the consumption of poorly raised beef can also impact our daily dietary patterns. As a staple in many diets, beef is a significant source of protein and essential nutrients. However, when the quality of beef is compromised due to poor raising practices, individuals may inadvertently miss out on the nutritional benefits they expect from this protein source. This deficiency can lead to an imbalance in the overall nutritional intake, affecting the body's ability to function optimally. In conclusion, the repercussions of consuming poorly raised beef extend beyond the plate. Scientific evidence underscores the potential threats to our health, emphasizing the importance of making informed choices about the meat we include in our diets. By understanding and addressing the issues associated with poorly raised beef, we can make more conscious decisions for the well-being of both ourselves and our communities. Thank you for joining us in this eye-opening exploration of seven types of unhealthy meats you should steer clear of. We hope this information empowers you to make healthier choices for you and your loved ones. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Remember, knowledge is the first step towards a healthier lifestyle, and your support helps us spread the word. So, let's build a community committed to making informed choices for a happier, healthier life. Stay tuned for more valuable insights, and until next time, take care of your health and make each meal a step towards a better you. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Stop now! Eating these seven harmful foods can clog arteries and destroy your kidneys. Beyond the immediate threat to the cardiovascular system, research by the World Health Organization indicates that cardiovascular diseases resulting from arterial congestion claim over 17 million lives annually worldwide, with a particular impact on the elderly population in the United States. Studies conducted by the American Heart Association and the National Kidney Foundation emphasize a significant correlation, revealing that individuals with blocked arteries are 2.5 times more likely to experience kidney complications. This underscores the pressing need for proactive measures to safeguard both heart and kidney health among seniors. In the face of these alarming statistics, adopting preventive strategies becomes crucial. Upon examining dietary habits, it becomes evident that specific harmful foods, particularly those high in trans fats and excessive sodium, contribute significantly to arterial congestion. But there's no need to worry. In this exploration, we have thoroughly researched and carefully selected these seven harmful foods. The information provided can serve as a foundation for immediate adjustments to your lifestyle or diet. So, please stay patient until the end. Now, let's get started. 1. Sugar the perils of excess sugar consumption manifest in multiple dimensions. Firstly, habitual overindulgence triggers insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes, a primary precursor to kidney disease. The statistics underscore the gravity of this connection, revealing that individuals with diabetes face a doubled risk of developing kidney disease. Delving deeper into the physiological repercussions, the inundation of the body with sugar fosters the accumulation of uric acid, amplifying the assault on the kidneys. Research substantiates the correlation between elevated sugar intake and a 40% increased risk of kidney stones, illustrating the intricate interplay between dietary choices and renal health. Within the arteries, sugar becomes a catalyst for atherosclerosis damage, inflammation, and cholesterol oxidation, disrupting the fundamental architecture of cells. This extends beyond the cardiovascular system, impacting the very foundation of each cell in the body. Notably, 
popular sugary beverages like sodas, sweetened teas, and fruit juices emerge as major contributors, delivering rapid spikes in blood sugar levels with each serving. Awareness of hidden sources of sugar is crucial, as condiments like ketchup and mayo often harbor added sugars alongside other undesirable elements like salt, preservatives, and artificial flavors. Encouraging alternatives, such as homemade tomato sauce with olive oil or Greek yogurt, becomes a strategic move toward mitigating these risks. Equally important is steering clear of processed and frozen meals, where terms like low-fat or fat-free often mask added sugars. Scrutinizing labels for ingredients like sucrose, high-fructose corn syrup, and glucose or opting for whole, unprocessed foods is a fundamental step in safeguarding against the deleterious effects of sugar. To minimize the negative impact of sugar in daily meals, here are a few lesser-known tips. Firstly, try using natural sweeteners like honey or maple syrup in moderation as alternatives to refined sugar. Additionally, consider swapping sugary beverages for infused water or herbal teas to enjoy a refreshing, sugar-free option. Lastly, develop a habit of checking food labels to identify and choose products with lower sugar content. These subtle yet effective adjustments can contribute significantly to cultivating a healthier eating routine, promoting overall well-being in the face of the prevalent challenges associated with excessive sugar intake. Continuing, alcohol, a widely consumed psychoactive substance, is a central part of social and cultural practices across the globe. I assure you that 99% of the people around you have, at some point, consumed alcohol. 2. Alcohol Here's a stark revelation, regular heavy drinking doubles the risk of chronic kidney disease, and when paired with smoking, this risk skyrockets to a startling five times higher. But it doesn't stop there. Alcohol, when taken in excess, contributes to elevated blood pressure, a notorious precursor to kidney issues. The impact of alcohol extends beyond kidneys, delving into the realm of liver health. Excessive drinking can lead to alcohol-related liver disease, triggering a cascade of other health problems. Let's put some numbers on the table for clarity. Research indicates that over two drinks a day significantly escalates the risk of developing high blood pressure and kidney damage. Moreover, the compounding effect of alcohol and smoking magnifies the risk, making it five times higher. To mitigate the potential drawbacks of incorporating alcohol into your daily meals, consider these lesser-known tips. Firstly, opt for red wine in moderation, as it contains resveratrol, known for its heart-protective properties. Secondly, diversify your alcohol choices to include spirits like vodka or gin mixed with soda water, reducing sugar content. Lastly, enjoy your drink with a side of nutrient-rich foods, such as olives or nuts, to counterbalance the effects. By adopting these small adjustments, you can enhance the overall nutritional value of your meals while minimizing the potential negative impacts associated with regular alcohol consumption. Continuing on, I know that among the elderly population worldwide, especially in the United States, the use of painkillers is quite prevalent. How does this impact them? 3. Pain Medications Let's talk about something that doesn't always get the attention it deserves, pain medications. We all know they can bring relief, but using them for too long or too often might be doing more harm than good, especially when it comes to our heart and kidneys. Take nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, like ibuprofen, for example. These are go-to options for many when it comes to managing pain, but what many don't realize is that they can mess with the blood flow to our kidneys. The World Health Organization reports that long-term use of NSAIDs increases the risk of kidney disease, affecting millions worldwide each year. But it's not just the kidneys we need to worry about. Some antibiotics, diuretics, and anti-inflammatory drugs can spark a condition called interstitial nephritis. This essentially means inflammation in the spaces between kidney tubules, and it's bad news for our kidney function. The National Kidney Foundation recommends steering clear of over-the-counter pain relievers for more than 10 days, especially if you're in the danger zone for kidney issues, like having diabetes, hypertension, or autoimmune diseases. 
Here's a staggering fact, a study by the American Heart Association found that regular, high-dose use of NSAIDs increased the risk of heart attack and stroke by almost 50%. That's a big red flag. So, the next time you reach for that pain reliever, think twice. It's not just a small pill, it might be a big risk. Always follow the recommended guidelines, and if you're a frequent user, have a chat with your doctor or nutritionist. Here are three little-known tips to mitigate the potential drawbacks of incorporating pain medications into your daily meals. Firstly, consider taking pain relievers with food rich in healthy fats, like avocados or nuts, as they can enhance absorption and reduce stomach irritation. Secondly, opt for a probiotic-rich diet, including yogurt or fermented foods, to promote gut health, which can be affected by some pain medications. Lastly, stay hydrated by drinking plenty of water throughout the day, as adequate fluid intake helps prevent potential kidney issues associated with certain pain relievers. Moving on to food item number four. Next up is another popular type. Go to your kitchen and open your pantry, they're right there. 4. Excessive salt. Salt plays a pivotal role in nerve and muscle function, being crucial for various physiological processes. However, an excessive intake of salt can lead to a substantial increase in blood pressure, placing undue stress on both the kidneys and arteries. Elevated blood pressure is a well-known risk factor for cardiovascular diseases, creating a cascade of adverse effects on vital organs. The kidneys, responsible for filtering excess fluids from the blood, become particularly vulnerable to damage when confronted with high salt levels. This damage may result in fluid buildup around the heart and lungs, exacerbating the strain on the cardiovascular system. To put it into perspective, the recommended daily allowance for salt is 2,300 mg for adults, with a suggested reduction to 1,500 mg for those dealing with hypertension. Unfortunately, individuals adhering to the standard American diet often consume double or even triple this recommended amount. Common sources of excessive salt intake include frozen dinners, supermarket pizzas, cookies, and fast food, staples of the modern diet. Compounding the issue, these processed foods often harbor preservatives, chemical flavoring agents, and trans fats, introducing additional threats to heart and kidney health. In safeguarding kidney health, moderation in salt consumption is paramount. Instead of relying solely on salt for flavor, consider using herbs and spices, which not only enhance taste but also provide additional benefits for blood and cardiovascular health. Rich in antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties, herbs and spices offer a holistic approach to maintaining well-being. To fortify this message, it is crucial to prioritize fresh, whole foods over fast food and mass-produced industrial alternatives. To mitigate the adverse effects of excessive salt in daily meals, consider incorporating herbs and spices as flavorful alternatives. Not only do they enhance taste, but they also contribute valuable antioxidants and nutrients. Opting for fresh herbs like basil, cilantro, or parsley, along with spices such as turmeric or cumin, can transform your dishes without compromising on health. Continuing with number 5. I dare say that even beneficial foods, when consumed excessively, are not good. The key is moderation, and our number 5 on the list also speaks to that. 5. Too much protein. Recent studies, particularly those endorsed by esteemed health organizations such as the American Heart Association, underline a critical link between excessive protein intake, especially from animal sources, and elevated LDL cholesterol levels. This heightened cholesterol imbalance significantly contributes to the formation of arterial plaque, thereby escalating the risk of atherosclerosis and cardiovascular diseases. Of particular concern for the aging population, statistics indicate that individuals with elevated LDL cholesterol face a staggering 30% higher risk of heart disease. Beyond the cardiovascular system, emerging research from the National Kidney Foundation urges caution regarding the consequences of surplus protein on renal health. There's a distinct correlation between excessive protein intake and the strain it places on the kidneys, 
potentially exacerbating pre-existing conditions and leading to the development of kidney disease. Alarming statistics indicate that approximately 14% of adults aged 60 and above grapple with some form of chronic kidney disease, emphasizing the need for prudence in protein consumption among the elderly. To mitigate the potential harm of consuming too much protein in daily meals, consider incorporating a variety of protein sources into your diet. Instead of relying solely on animal-based proteins, diversify with plant-based options like legumes, beans, and tofu. This approach not only provides a spectrum of essential amino acids but also offers additional nutrients and fiber. Moreover, opt for lean cuts of meat and incorporate fish rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Balancing protein intake with a mix of sources ensures a more comprehensive nutritional profile, promoting overall well-being without undue strain on kidneys or other bodily functions. Continuing with a natural stimulant that belongs to the xanthine class of compounds. It is widely consumed across the globe. Do you know what it is? 6. Caffeine a study conducted by the American Heart Association found that consuming more than 400 mg of caffeine per day, roughly equivalent to 4 8-ounce cups of brewed coffee, was associated with elevated blood pressure. Elevated blood pressure is a well-known contributor to arterial congestion, which, over time, can lead to the clogging of arteries and increase the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Furthermore, Research from the National Institute on Aging highlights the stimulant properties of caffeine, which can result in an increased heart rate. For adults aged 60 and above, whose cardiovascular systems may already be more vulnerable, managing caffeine intake becomes crucial to prevent undue stress on the heart and the progression of cardiovascular issues. On the renal front, a study published in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology revealed that excessive caffeine intake could lead to decreased blood flow to the kidneys. This reduced blood flow, coupled with caffeine's diuretic effects, may contribute to dehydration, a known factor that strains the kidneys and can potentially lead to long-term damage. To mitigate the potential drawbacks of incorporating caffeine into your daily meals, consider a simple yet effective tip, pairing it with water. Combining your caffeinated beverage with a glass of water helps counteract its dehydrating effects, promoting overall hydration. Furthermore, this practice can assist in minimizing potential digestive discomfort associated with caffeine consumption. Food item number 7 on our list is a special kind. I'm not saying they are entirely harmful, but with the following information, you might be surprised. 7. Foods rich in oxalates. Did you know that oxalates, these little compounds in our food, can team up with calcium to create crystals? Now, these crystals might seem harmless, but if they team up and stick around, they can turn into kidney stones. Imagine this, kidney stones passing through your plumbing can be really painful and might even cause infections or blockages, potentially harming your kidneys. It's like a secret danger lurking in what we eat. Surprisingly, some seemingly healthy foods like spinach, beets, rhubarb, nuts, chocolate, tea, and certain grains and legumes are loaded with oxalates. I know, it's confusing because we usually think of these as nutritious choices. And yes, they are, but for those of us who tend to get kidney stones, these foods can be a bit risky. Especially if you've had kidney stones before, you might want to be careful and balance these foods with ones that have fewer oxalates. But here's a simple trick to protect yourself, drink plenty of water. Hydration is like a superhero that helps flush out those oxalates, reducing the chances of kidney stone formation. And here's a fun twist, adding a squeeze of lemon to your water can be a game changer. The citric acid in lemons can actually stop those crystals from forming in the first place and keep your arteries strong and flexible thanks to the vitamin C. It took me some time to research and find this information for you. If you find them helpful, you can give me a little motivation by liking and subscribing. Thank you very much. If you recognize any other foods, feel free to share them in the comments. I don't want to miss any harmful foods, all for your health. Neglecting the list of 7 harmful foods that can clog arteries and damage kidneys poses a serious threat to your health. 
the consequences may include a significant decline in kidney function and the onset of dangerous arterial blockages. To safeguard your well-being, it's crucial to pay attention to your diet and ensure the elimination of these harmful foods from your daily intake. Make the right decision now to enjoy a healthy life and steer clear of undesirable risks. Start today to build a foundation for a healthier future. Take charge of your well-being and embrace a lifestyle that promotes lasting health. Top 5 Highly Dangerous Cancer-Causing Foods You Should Avoid Welcome back, health enthusiasts, to Vitality Solutions, your go-to channel for holistic well-being. Today, we're diving into a crucial topic that affects us all, the top 5 highly dangerous cancer-causing foods you should avoid. It's time to empower ourselves with knowledge and make informed choices for a healthier, cancer-free lifestyle. So, grab a seat, take notes, and let's embark on this journey to better health together. Stay tuned for insights that could make a significant impact on your well-being. Let's get started. 1. Processed Meats Processed meats, while undeniably convenient, pose a significant threat to our health, particularly in terms of cancer risk. Numerous scientific studies have consistently linked the consumption of processed meats to an increased likelihood of developing various types of cancer. The culprits here are often the additives and preservatives used in the processing, coupled with the methods of cooking. Firstly, the high levels of sodium nitrate and nitrite, common preservatives in processed meats, have been associated with an elevated risk of colorectal cancer. These compounds can undergo reactions in the body forming carcinogenic nitrosamines that may damage DNA and lead to the initiation of cancerous cells. Additionally, the cooking methods employed in processing, such as smoking or curing, can produce harmful substances like polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and heterocyclic amines. These chemicals have been linked to an increased risk of several cancers, including colorectal and stomach cancers. Moreover, the excessive consumption of processed meats often contributes to an unhealthy diet, characterized by a high intake of saturated fats and low intake of fiber. This dietary pattern is associated with obesity, which is a well-established risk factor for various cancers. In conclusion, the scientific evidence is compelling and clear, processed meats are not just a matter of taste and convenience, they come with a real and concerning health risk. Choosing alternatives and adopting a diet rich in fresh, unprocessed foods can significantly contribute to reducing the chances of developing cancer and promoting overall well-being. 2. Red Meat The carcinogenic culprits within red meat are manifold. First and foremost, the cooking process itself can lead to the formation of harmful compounds, such as heterocyclic amines and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. These substances, when ingested, have been conclusively linked to DNA damage, a pivotal precursor to cancer initiation. Moreover, red meat is a rich source of heme iron, which, when metabolized, can instigate oxidative stress within the body. This oxidative stress, in turn, can fuel the development of cancer cells. Additionally, the high fat content in red meat, particularly saturated fats, further compounds the risk contributing to inflammation and hormonal imbalances that create an environment conducive to carcinogenesis. Equally noteworthy is the association between red meat consumption and the disruption of the gut microbiota. The intricate balance of bacteria in our digestive system plays a crucial role in maintaining overall health, and an imbalance has been linked to the genesis of colorectal cancer. Red meat, through its interaction with gut bacteria, can potentially tip this balance in favor of cancer-promoting conditions. 3. Sugar-Sweetened Beverages Research consistently demonstrates a positive correlation between the consumption of sugary drinks and the risk of developing various types of cancer. High sugar content in these beverages not only contributes to obesity, a well-established cancer risk factor, but also fuels inflammation and insulin resistance, creating a fertile ground for malignant cell growth. A pivotal study published in the renowned journal Cancer Research reveals a direct association between elevated sugar intake and heightened cancer cell proliferation. The study underscores the role of sugary beverages in creating a metabolic environment conducive to tumor development. 
Furthermore, the excessive fructose content in these drinks has been implicated in promoting the growth of cancer cells, acting as a potential catalyst for the initiation and progression of carcinogenesis. The evidence is compelling, urging individuals to reconsider their beverage choices for the sake of their long-term health. From colorectal to breast cancer, the spectrum of malignancies linked to SSB consumption is broad and warrants serious attention. Public health initiatives, therefore, should prioritize raising awareness about the cancer risks associated with sugar-sweetened beverages, fostering a collective shift towards healthier alternatives for the well-being of individuals and communities alike. 4. Highly processed foods Processed foods, laden with artificial additives, preservatives, and refined ingredients, often lack the essential nutrients found in whole, unprocessed foods. These nutritional deficiencies, coupled with the presence of harmful additives, create an environment conducive to cancer development. Research consistently shows that diets rich in processed foods are associated with an elevated risk of cancer, including colorectal, breast, and stomach cancers. Moreover, the high levels of sugar, salt, and unhealthy fats found in these products contribute to obesity, a well-established risk factor for several types of cancer. The intricate link between highly processed foods and insulin resistance further exacerbates the cancer risk, as elevated insulin levels have been linked to the growth of cancer cells. In addition to the nutritional aspects, the processing methods themselves introduce carcinogenic substances. The heating, refining, and chemical treatments employed in food processing can generate carcinogens, further amplifying the potential harm. Acrylamide, a known carcinogen formed during the processing of certain foods, serves as a glaring example. 5. Alcohol The peril lies in the metabolism of ethanol, the main component of alcoholic beverages, within the body. Ethanol undergoes conversion into acetaldehyde, a known carcinogen, by the liver enzymes. This toxic substance then wreaks havoc on DNA, impairing its repair mechanisms and triggering mutations that can lead to cancerous growths. Additionally, alcohol weakens the immune system, making the body less adept at detecting and eliminating cancer cells. Compounding this threat is the cumulative effect of alcohol over time. Even moderate and social drinking has been shown to contribute significantly to the risk of developing cancer. The World Health Organization categorizes alcohol as a Group 1 carcinogen, placing it in the same category as tobacco, emphasizing the gravity of its potential harm. While the societal narrative often romanticizes the moderate consumption of alcohol, the scientific reality starkly contrasts with this perception. It is imperative to disseminate this information widely, fostering awareness about the profound and often irreversible consequences of alcohol on our health. As we wrap up our exploration of the top five highly dangerous cancer-causing foods, it's crucial to take charge of our health and make informed choices. By steering clear of these harmful culprits, we empower ourselves to reduce the risk of cancer and embrace a healthier lifestyle. If you found this information eye-opening and valuable, don't forget to hit that like button, it helps us reach more people with essential health insights. Share this video with your friends and family to spread awareness about the impact of our food choices on our well-being. Subscribe to our channel for more insightful content that empowers you to make informed decisions about your health. Remember, knowledge is the first step towards a healthier life. Together, let's create a community committed to making mindful choices and promoting well-being. Thank you for tuning in, and we look forward to having you with us on our journey to a healthier, happier life. Stay well, stay informed, and until next time, take care. Shocking truth about 7 beverages you consume daily. Hello everybody. Today, let's dive into a crucial discussion about the top 7 drinks that you should steer clear of. Many popular beverages in our daily lives, such as sugary sodas, energy drinks, and high-calorie coffee concoctions, can have detrimental effects on our health. Excessive sugar intake from these drinks is linked to weight gain, diabetes, and heart issues. Caffeine-rich beverages may lead to sleep disturbances and heightened stress levels. In this video, 
we delve into the shocking truths behind these commonly consumed drinks, shedding light on their potential risks and offering insights into healthier alternatives. Stay tuned to discover why it's crucial to be mindful of your beverage choices for overall well-being. Let's explore the countdown, starting with number 7. 7. Coffee with Cream Indulging in a cup of coffee with cream may seem like a simple pleasure, but it's crucial to recognize the potential pitfalls associated with this favored beverage. While the rich and comforting flavor is undeniably appealing, the addition of sugar and cream introduces a cascade of concerns that warrant attention. Foremost among these concerns is the spike in calorie and sugar intake. The innocent act of enhancing your coffee's taste can inadvertently contribute to weight gain, setting the stage for potential health issues like diabetes and heart disease, especially when consumed in excess. The addictive combination of caffeine-stimulating properties, melded with the sweet and creamy notes, may pave the way for a habit that proves difficult to break. Dental health is not spared from the consequences either, the added sugar can become a silent accomplice in the development of tooth decay and gum issues. Furthermore, the caffeine content in coffee can disrupt sleep patterns, particularly if enjoyed later in the day. The fats and cholesterol present in cream, when consumed in abundance, pose additional risks to cholesterol levels and cardiovascular health. In spite of these cautionary notes, it's important to acknowledge that moderate consumption of coffee with sugar and cream can still find a place within a balanced diet. Nevertheless, a discerning approach to this beloved beverage is warranted, ensuring that the pleasures it offers do not compromise your overall well-being. 6. Coffee Drinks Coffee drinks, including popular choices like chai lattes and frappuccinos, often masquerade as delightful treats or trendy indulgences, luring consumers with their rich flavors and enticing presentations. However, beneath their alluring exterior lies a concealed menace that sets them apart from other beverages, excessive sugar content. These seemingly innocent coffee drinks, marketed for their perceived health benefits, inadvertently contribute to significant health concerns. The hidden danger becomes apparent when one discovers that a single serving of these beverages can contain a staggering 80 grams of sugar, transforming them into nothing short of sugar bombs. The allure of chai lattes and frappuccinos goes beyond mere taste, their appeal makes them go to choices for individuals seeking a delightful treat or a midday pick-me-up. Yet, the consequences of indulging in these sugary concoctions extend beyond momentary pleasure. The high sugar content poses a serious threat to overall well-being, acting as a catalyst for health issues such as obesity, insulin resistance, and metabolic imbalances. While these coffee drinks may seem like innocent pleasures, the hidden health risks they carry make them stand out in the realm of beverages, warranting careful consideration of their impact on our long-term health. 5. Milkshakes Indulging in a milkshake, a classic fast-food delight, can quickly escalate into a sugar overload that extends beyond mere sweetness. Some of the more popular choices in this category boast an alarming 168 grams of sugar per serving, compounded by the inclusion of artificial sweeteners, preservatives, as well as artificial colors and flavors. This seemingly innocent and delightful beverage transforms into a concoction that poses significant threats to both health and overall well-being. As we delve into the realm of sugary beverages, it's crucial to dispel the prevalent misconception surrounding sugar's harmful effects. The common belief often centers on the caloric content of sugar, attributing its adverse impacts solely to the energy it provides. However, a more nuanced understanding reveals that sugar's detrimental effects extend far beyond its caloric contribution. The true culprits lie in the profound impact sugar has on hormonal regulation, metabolic equilibrium, and the development of insulin resistance. Sugar's influence on hormones and metabolic balance is pivotal in comprehending its role in the body. Consuming excess sugar can disrupt the delicate hormonal balance, leading to fluctuations in insulin levels. This disruption contributes to the development of insulin resistance, a condition where the body's cells become less responsive to insulin signals, ultimately leading to elevated blood sugar levels. Insulin resistance is a precursor to various health issues, including obesity and the development of diseases such as type 2 diabetes. 
In essence, the allure of milkshakes, laden with excessive sugar and artificial additives, conceals a host of health risks. Beyond the immediate pleasure of the sweet concoction, there lies a complex interplay of factors that can detrimentally impact one's well-being. From hormonal imbalances to the insidious onset of insulin resistance, the seemingly innocent milkshake emerges as a potential catalyst for a cascade of health issues. 4. Fruit Juice While fruit juices, especially the widely celebrated orange juice, are often hailed for their perceived nutritional value, it is crucial to recognize the significant health risks associated with their consumption. Despite being labeled as zero added sugar, fruit juices contain intrinsic sugars that can have profound implications for our well being. The prevailing misconception that these natural sugars are innocuous can lead to detrimental effects on the body, such as the development of insulin resistance and non alcoholic fatty liver disease. The crux of the issue lies in the metabolism of fructose a predominant sugar component in fruit juices. Unlike glucose, which can be efficiently utilized by cells throughout the body, fructose follows a distinct pathway, primarily processed in the liver. Excessive consumption of fructose, whether from added sugars or the innate sugars in fruit juice, places a substantial burden on the liver, potentially resulting in fat accumulation and the onset of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Beyond this, the repercussions extend to insulin resistance, a condition wherein cells become less responsive to the hormone insulin. This resistance is a pivotal factor in the development of metabolic disorders, closely linked to high sugar diets. Despite the apparent health benefits attributed to fruit juices, their consumption can contribute to this metabolic imbalance, setting the stage for weight gain, diabetes, and a spectrum of related health issues. It is imperative to approach fruit juices with a discerning perspective, acknowledging their potential adverse effects on our metabolic health. 3. Sports Drinks While sports drinks are heavily promoted as a necessary companion for hydration during physical activities, it is crucial to recognize their potential drawbacks. Often overlooked, these seemingly beneficial beverages can serve as a concealed source of excessive sugar. Surprisingly, the sugar content in sports drinks rivals that of a glass of orange juice or a typical soda. These drinks, positioned as aids in replenishing electrolytes lost during workouts, frequently harbor added artificial flavors and colors, contributing to their overall appeal but also to their less-than-ideal nutritional profile. Understanding the hidden sugars and artificial additives in commercial sports drinks underscores the importance of exploring healthier alternatives. A practical and cost-effective solution lies in crafting your own electrolyte drink at home. By simply adding a pinch of salt to water, you can create a beverage that fulfills the electrolyte replenishing purpose without the drawbacks associated with store-bought sports drinks. This do-it-yourself approach allows you to customize the drink to your taste preferences while avoiding the excess sugars and chemicals present in many commercial options. Making the switch to a homemade electrolyte drink aligns with a broader movement toward conscious and informed choices in nutrition. It not only addresses concerns about added sugars but also empowers individuals to take control of their hydration regimen. Additionally, the cost-effectiveness of this alternative makes it accessible to a wider audience, promoting a shift away from reliance on commercially marketed sports drinks. 2. Sweet Tea Originating from southern traditions, sweet tea has woven itself into the fabric of regional culture. While offering a refreshing respite, its sweetness often hides a significant health concern. A gallon of sweet tea, a common and affordable option, may harbor a shocking 352 grams of sugar. This seemingly innocuous beverage becomes a stealthy contributor to excessive sugar intake. The allure of sweet tea lies in its ability to quench thirst, especially during scorching southern summers. However, the habit of sipping on sweet tea throughout the day can lead to a gradual accumulation of sugars. What starts as a simple enjoyment can morph into a considerable health risk, especially when its sugar content goes unnoticed. The issue with sweet tea extends beyond its immediate taste. Regular and unchecked consumption of high-sugar beverages like sweet tea has been linked to various health problems. From weight gain and tooth decay to a heightened risk of diabetes and heart disease, 
the consequences of excessive sugar intake are far-reaching. The southern tradition of sweet tea, while deeply ingrained and cherished, necessitates a critical examination of its impact on long-term health. 1. Soda or soft drinks Soda, perched at the zenith of our beverage choices, symbolizes a ubiquitous drink deeply ingrained in modern culture. Its omnipresence, often laden with excessive sugar or high-fructose corn syrup, seamlessly intertwines with our daily lives, raising red flags for our health. What sets sodas apart, however, is the automatic and almost thoughtless manner in which they are chosen, becoming a default accompaniment to every meal. The disconcerting truth is that sodas have surpassed their role as a simple beverage, they have morphed into a routine for many, seamlessly blending into their daily rituals. The habitual consumption of sodas, saturated with unhealthy sugars, has become ritualistic, fueled by the convenience and accessibility of these drinks in various settings. It extends beyond personal choice, the widespread availability of sodas in restaurants, convenience stores, and vending machines contributes to their omnipresence. The marketing tactics employed by soda manufacturers further solidify their status as the preferred refreshment. The fizzy allure, coupled with intense sweetness, makes sodas an enticing choice, especially when reinforced by social conditioning that associates them with leisure, enjoyment, and refreshment. This normalization of soda consumption poses a significant threat to public health, fostering a culture where a potentially harmful beverage becomes an unquestioned part of our daily routines. In conclusion, the significance of monitoring our beverage choices parallels the attention we give to our food consumption. A comprehensive awareness of the repercussions of added sugars, artificial additives, and the misleading appeal of certain commonly consumed drinks empowers us to make decisions that positively influence our holistic well-being. Recognizing the impact of these elements on our health enables us to navigate through the myriad beverage options with greater discernment. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of maintaining a healthy lifestyle, our commitment to providing valuable insights continues. Stay connected for forthcoming discussions that unravel the complexities of optimizing your health. If you found the information shared here beneficial, ensure you stay informed about upcoming content by subscribing to our channel. Hit the notification bell and activate all notifications to receive timely updates on your journey towards achieving and sustaining optimal health. Your proactive engagement in this ongoing dialogue is instrumental in fostering a community dedicated to well-informed and health-conscious living. Let's embark on this journey together, armed with knowledge and a shared commitment to wellness.